of scenery, but what hasn't changed the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Place in Cleveland, where it'll be the Capwell for the Pelicans. A dominating performance for them in game two, and they're looking to continue there. And though technically this is not an elimination game, it is clearly a borderline must-win game. Shaq, how do you see it? You never know what will happen in the series to turn the tide. I mean, Ernie, if you look at history, no one's come back from it. And there is a Serena. A 2-0 start to the finals. Things could change direction here in Game 3. 2K Sports brings you NBA playoff action. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And joining us in a bit later from the sidelines, Doris Burt. They can't panic, but after losing the first two on the road, you know, there's no question they'll need a win tonight to regain some confidence and, and make, make this a series. Yeah, and they were unable to steal a game on the road, but now in this third game, it's really do or die. They need a win to keep their championship hopes alive. Yep, if they're able to win game three tonight, that scenario becomes a definite possibility. They get a huge boost going forward. The fans would simply get crazier and more hyped up. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. So the Pelican five right now. Holiday and Evans comprise the backcourt. Riley is out there with Anthony Davis. And it's Zeller in at the five, roaming the paint. New Orleans on D. Saturday was a great victory for them. They just weren't challenged. I mean, nearly as much as they should have been in that game. That match. I mean, the defense from the start was on its heels practically the entire game. And Holiday gets the free. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. And that one's good. Davis has got his first points of the game. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. LeBron outside, inside, Riley grabs the miss. The Pelicans have gone two or three here to start out the game. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Evans. Davis has got his second basket of the game. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. Irving passes to James. It's tipped. Out of bounds. Cleveland will take possession. And really just a lack of awareness Get on back. his part. Just no idea he was right near the line. Cavaliers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Out of bounds. New Orleans will take possession. Pelicans. Here's Holiday. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in a zone, and I'm sure they feel unstoppable. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Yeah, I caught up with Coach David Black. He had an upbeat attitude when we spoke, especially for being down two games in the NBA Finals. He explained his demeanor, though, saying everyone expects them to hold serve in their building, and we feel we can do the same. Confidence not lacking on their sideline despite the deficit, Kevin. Always great to hear from you, Doris. Nobody near Irving. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Hit by Zeller. Freak with it. Guarded now by Irving. Riley can't hit. And with room like that off the pitch, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. The dish now to Zeller. Shoots from 14. Good. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Everybody on the same page, completely in sync. Tremendous communication and awareness. Now here's LeBron. Here's Verizon. Buries it down low. Verizon's got his first basket of the night. 
Man, how about the dexterity for this big guy? I mean, he is really smooth around the basket. Love against Riley. They double him with Shumpert. And it's the Pelicans with the ball. Here's Holiday. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. The Cavaliers trail by five. James against Riley. Off the pick. And James throws it down. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around. Just straight to the rim. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. No chance. Yes, Kevin. I mean, the screen was in the right spot. His feet were set. He would have had to go straight through it. And that's not legal. And I love the tenacity, guys. He simply can will his way into games at times and exert his presence. To the inside, Ryan, and he goes strong with the one-handed jam. The one-hand slam is so sweet when it's his hand doing the slam. Oh, yeah, he is so smooth, even on a power finish like that. And really, that's what makes him unique, that combination of power and polish. Here's Shumpert following the score by New Orleans. LeBron James again. LeBron's got his third bucket of the night. These defenders look overmatched right now, especially inside. Well, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points from close range, so I'd have to agree with you, partner. Now here's Freak. Shoots off the screen, and it's Evans missing. Yeah, great look, but disappointing with the miss. Boy, what happened on that one, Greg? I mean, that's almost an automatic shot for him. Here's Irving. It's a pick by Love to the middle. And there's Verajal. That's good on the assist by Irving. Verajal's got his second bucket. New Orleans has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. And Riley gets it to go. And both teams on fire from the opening tip. Well, I don't doubt it, Greg. We're going to have an entertaining game of basketball here today. I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that's the case. Now, here's Irving. It's a pick by Love. Fires for three. And Verizhao kicks to LeBron. Takes a three. Again, Love missing. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed Here's Riley. They get it again. Davis. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And the second chance becomes a dunk. We could feel over here. GA such a good impression. Defensive glass. You just can't ever give up on a play. Thompson, he's checked in for Anderson Verja. And the Pelicans also making a change. Ryan Anderson is checked in for Zelda. It's a pick by Love. Kicks it to James. Six to shoot. Thirteen feet away. Here's Thompson. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. From beyond the arc, and another, once again, shot good from Riley. And it's a seven-point Pelican lead. Cleveland's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. The drive by James to end the run. And the shot falls short this time. And you know what? That's one of those heat checks if he's taking shots like that. Yeah, heat check or not, I don't care how hot he may or may not be. He's not making that one. Now here's Freak. He's got 10. Back to Evans. Three-pointer. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. And it really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. James again. Another miss by James. And the Pelicans with the possession. They're on a 13-4 run. It's Evans on the wing. Evans can't get that one to fall. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. 
Irving dishes to LeBron. Thompson passes to Shumpert. Out to the wing. It's tipped. All alone. And Freak throws it down. Already seizing control of this game. Total control, Greg. And as well as they're playing at both ends, I look for this lead to get even larger. And now Doris Burke. his team he said their plan was run their offense through anthony davis as we know that's not a role he shies away from they always lean on him to drive their offense and coach wants to lean on him again today we'll be watching how these adjustments work kev there's still a lot of time left in this game and as always doris thank you i tell you what it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat here's new orleans they're on a 15 to 6 run Riley kicks to Holland. He dishes it to Freak. And, oh, here we go. Smith's got it. The fast break chance. They get it back. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And really, the defense fouling there to just prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. I mean, much better off making him go to the line. J.J. Hickson, he's checked in for days. There's not a lot you can say that hasn't been said before about his skill at the charity strike. And Riley gets on, it to go. go. And he's starting to show that killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend the lead. Irving kicks to LeBron. The screen from Thompson. Smith left side. On the left block. The shot is off. Great D that time from Riley. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Here's Anderson. Finish 13. They're really struggling. A great point. Really an embarrassing performance defensively, and the coaching staff can't be happy. Irving drives in. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Irving's got six. That's a nice drive there, Kevin. He beat the lone defender and was wide open under the hoop. Charity stripe shot. Another one falls for New Orleans. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Yeah, they're lasered in. I mean, really making the most of their possessions. Here's Smith. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And it's paid dividends. And with as many points as they've gotten in the paint, you know, they haven't had to do much work on the perimeter. Holiday inside the line, and it's New Orleans scoring again. That's their third straight make off an assist. <laughs> Great ball movement. 119 left to play in the first. LeBron kicks to Williams. No good. Now New Orleans will take it the other way. Here is Riley. He's got 15. Shot by Gordon, wide open. And again, New Orleans with the triple. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. When that happens, you simply just hope they start cooling off. Now here's LeBron. He's got eight. Irving, good luck. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Rebounding is going to be the focal point for them in this one, fellas. I can feel it. No, it always is, and it has been so far, and they've gotten a nice edge on the glass. He used that pick to perfection. 18 points for Freak. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. And their defensive rotations have been non-existent. James kicks to Irving. It's stolen by Hickson. And here we go. Freak heading to the hoop. Rips down the breakaway slam. And it's like raining buckets right now. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, we've got to be careful. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves just yet. Uh, but it has been pretty ugly so far. No doubt about that. Nobody even close to him. And he can't believe he doesn't knock it down. We're at the end of the first quarter. And what a blowout already in this one. Pelicans ahead, running away with it. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. From 
we caught up with Kyrie Irving earlier and he talked a little bit about expectations for himself and his teammates. Uh, we expect so much out of each other every single night and you know the team. Kyrie reminding us that it's not just the expectations of the fans and the media he and LeBron deal with but also and Clark perhaps the most demanding of all are the expectations they've got for each other. Yeah that's a great point. I mean two guys who expect so much of themselves to start with who naturally have a vision of how great the other guy should be. I mean they're constantly trying to manage expectations while still demanding the best from each other and that's a lot of fun to watch. Welcome back to our coverage of the NBA Finals. More action straight ahead. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Pelicans. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. So the Pelican five right now. Evans and Gordon are the guard set. Tyler Zeller out there with Patrick Patterson. And it's Riley in at the three. Here's Shumpert. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Pelicans leading by 23. Now here's Freak. Gordon, 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 Gordon. Move the he ball. feeds it to Patterson. Sticking too much. To the wing on the left. Five to shoot. Here's Riley. Cavaliers with the rebound. Here is Jow's got three rebounds now in this one. McDermott kicks to Love. Cleveland moving the ball around. That's good from McDermott on the assist by Love. McDermott's got his first three points of the game. New Orleans gone seven of ten shooting from three-point land tonight. Excellent numbers from outside. Here's Riley. And it falls over the rim and in. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Now Williams looking for his first basket still in this one. McDermott with the screen for Williams. Another three for Cleveland. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know, he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, it's a stark discrepancy when you look at the assist columns and you see that difference as far as the fluidity in their respective offenses. Outside jumper. Pick by Verajal. Shumpert, no good. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. It's three on three on the fast break. Verja with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Evans against Shumpert. Here's Verja. Up and in on the way. Verja's got six. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Ladies and gentlemen, your Cavalier girls. Here's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the best shooters during the postseason. Anthony Davis, third, fourth, three. Well, these two guys are consistent producers. I mean, they've had excellent playoff runs so far. The crowds get louder, and on every shot, it's got to be hard to maintain your concentration, but these guys find a way to do it. Davis has checked in for New Orleans. The Cavaliers trail by 20. Outside, Williams will go the other way with it. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Now here's Freak. He's covered closely. On the wing, Gordon. Pick by Zeller. Gordon dishes to Freak. Shoots. And he gets the jumper to drop. Freak's got seven points here in this quarter. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. Norland's making a switch here. Hondexter's checked in. Cleveland's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. 
Shumper with it. Picked by Verizhao. And it's Shumpert penetrating. Left side, Love. And that one's good. Here's Evans. He kicks it to Freak. From the top of the key, Love grabs the board. The Cavaliers trail by 20, and let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Well, Kev, Freak, in the last matchup against the Cavaliers, got the job done. He dropped in a staggering amount of points, as he usually does, really knocking down shots from beyond the arc. Numbers like that make you anxious to see what he can do next time out. Thanks for the great report, Doris. Uh, guys, uh, the way he carried them that night, I thought was truly incredible. Uh, unreal. I mean, he was literally on another planet in that game. He did it all on the floor. What's interesting to me, guys, is to see how much energy he's able to play with here tonight. I mean, his legs still have to be a little heavy from that last game. And that's a nice possession. Did a good job to get that open shot. Williams passes to Love. Good. And a nice assist for Williams. Williams has got his fourth assist in this one. New Orleans leading by 20. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Davis sets a screen. There's a good screen. The Riley kicks to Pondexter. Zeller dishes to Freak. Six on the shot clock. Shoots it. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Freak's got 31. What a top-notch game he's having. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seemed like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. McDermott with the screen for Williams. Picked by Verizhal. Here's McDermott. Goes right through for bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. I really like the fact that he's getting the touches he needs here after not scoring a single point in that first quarter. Here's Riley, and he's good on the three ball. Freak's got 34. Once again, the defense letting him get open at the three-point line. That's a major mental mistake there. You've got to get to the shooter. Love kicks to Verizhao. Williams. Rejected by Riley. He lobs up the LU pass, and Davis throws it down. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Pick by Verizhao. Back to Williams. Verizhao with a screen on Evans. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Nice shot by McDermott. Talk about doing a Rip Van Winkle on defense. Come on, guys, wake up. Why are they leaving him open at the three-point line? Come on. Picked by Zeller. Riley passes it to Davis. And here's Freak. He's got 34. Davis dishes to Zeller. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Assisted. Davis has got three Anthony assists Davis. tonight. Outstanding entry pass there. He knew exactly where to go with the ball. Nick Dermott kicks to Love. Fade away. And good as it rattles through the hoop. Love's got eight points. And, fellas, in this quarter, he's improved on what was already a very good performance in period number one. Here's Riley, and the shot is good. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Here is Williams. From deep three-point range, loves no luck. It would have been something to see if he could hit that shot from that deep. Greg, you know it. I know it. There aren't very many guys that can hit from out there but he is one of them. That's the kind of range he has. Cleveland's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And it's a completely bad. So as we conclude...
Well, looking at the stats, it's hard to doubt you have been the number one factor for your team. Do you feel like you're controlling the paint right now? Set to get started again for the next bit of action in this game three. Been a big game for Freak. He's got 36 points, and he's unleashed a barrage of three-pointers on him. Yeah, and Clark, you can tell they're good right now when the ball leaves his hand. He has racked up a ton of points. LeBron and Love are the talented pair at the forward position. Kyrie Irving is out there with Amon Shumper, and it's Verizhao in at the five down low. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Evans passes to Davis. Yes, and a nice assist from Evans. Evans has got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Now, here is Irving. Pulls it from 20. Another miss by James. Over to the wing. There's the feed to Freak. Zeller dishes to Freak. Passes to Evans. New Orleans moving the ball around. Freak with it. Guarded now by Kevin Love. A nice shot by Zeller. Zeller's got six. And he is the ultimate when it comes to being a floor leader on the offensive end. Yeah, you know, he's got a little bit of Greg Anthony in him. And he has been that leader today. I think he's done a really nice job of moving the ball and, and distributing it the way it needs to be done. Yeah, well, Clark, I'm glad you referenced you uh, specifically why you thought he had a little Greg Anthony. I thought you were talking about his knees, man. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he looked a little hobbled out there for a moment. Let's go. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. It's a pick by Love. Irving kicks to Love. Here's Verizhao. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. Um, it seems to me uh, they've gone after this win a little bit more. James against Riley. It's LeBron with the drive. Can't connect from 14 feet out. You love the close out on that possession. Excellent defense. Active, side. and he made it a very tough shot for him. Count the bucket. Freak's got 45 points. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. And they may have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. LeBron kicks to Verizhao, misses off the right iron. And not a night he's going to want to remember, just Got not it. really Get able to score the basketball. To the left wing, releases. That's good from Holiday on the assist by Freak. Freak's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. For Cleveland, they've gone only one of six in the field in the third quarter. Not how they pictured the half started. Irving kicks to Love. Drains it from beyond the arc. Love's got 13. And the shooting has really been there for him today, but he may have to take it upon himself to continue to carry this team and try and get out of this hole. Riley, and another three for New Orleans. Three. This looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. I don't know. There might be more defense in the warm-ups. Right now, these are just shooting game shots. Irving attacking. Comes up empty down low. And, and once he had to change his shot in the face of the D, you, you just had a feeling that one wasn't going to fall. Here's Riley. That one's good from the corner. Yeah, that's what Freak's I got 14 points here in the second half. It's amazing what they're doing on offense here. Perfect in this half. Pass to James. It's stolen by Davis. And now the Pelicans on the break. Holiday with the ball. The shot from 20 feet away. And it's rebounded by Anderson Verizhao. Verizhao's got rebound number five here tonight. Dishes it to Shumpert. Three-pointer. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the and backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one, Greg. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. 
Irving passes to James. Shot to stop the run. Shakes off the strong D and gets to the bucket for two. LeBron's got 12. You know, guys, that's what he does. He just loves to play that kind of attacking basketball. Side. Here's Riley. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. 52 points for Freak. He's doing it all for them right now on the offensive side. No matter what the defense has done, they haven't been able to find an answer to stop him, and he's had an answer for every defense he's seen. Davis sets a screen. Riley kicks to him, feeds it to Freak. Shot clock at five, trying his luck deep, and the shot is good. Freak's got 55. It, what's gotten into him today? This is getting ridiculous. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. LeBron James on the wing. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Anderson Verja. That is his first foul of the game. I think he's got to regroup and get himself together here. I mean, something's gone wrong with him this quarter. He's really falling off. McDermott's checked in for Cleveland. Williams comes in for Irving. Now, Freak. Non-stop scoring machine here. The pass to Evans. Davis sets a screen. And stolen by Love. Shumper with it. Love outside. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Here's Riley from outside off the mark. Boy, he shredded the D with the patented crossover, but just couldn't convert. Williams dishes to Love. McDermott kicks to Love. And that one's good. Love's got 15 points. And for the Pelicans, their shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. Riley can't hit. Cleveland's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. LeBron with it. Evans picks him up. James against Evans. Here's Williams. Good, and the assist goes to James. Williams has got his second bucket of the game to go. Wow, got that one off right in the face of the big fella. Nice quick fire release. Yeah, and the mid-range shot really the only option in that situation. Sometimes when you're facing a bigger guy, you can't 